Hi. Hello. Can I help you? Yes, I'm thinking about buying a high output machine with a front hopper. And I noticed that Puttinger now has a front hopper C drill. Yes, you've come to the right place for high output. The Aerosem FDD has been newly developed, designed for high output, reliability and convenience. The three requirements have been fulfilled. The front hopper is implemented as a pressurized hopper as standard. A pressurized hopper simply means that the hopper and the metering system operate at the same pressure. As a result, we can handle longer conveying distances from the hopper and high metering volumes. I can see that there are two metering systems. Does that mean that the seat hopper is divided? Yes, that's an option here. As standard, the machine is equipped with one metering system and, of course, a large hopper. As an optional, it's available with two metering systems and a divided hopper. What advantages does this offer and what applications do we use it for? As you can see, both metering systems feed into one seed tube. This system is called single shoot. It's used especially for sowing wheat and at the same time depositing fertilizer directly into the seed slot or when mixing different seed materials that are not of the same size or with wheat and seed materials with different dressings. You can simply mix them and sow them simultaneously into the seed slot. And is the metering system electric? That's right, the metering system is electric driven as standard. Here I'd like to mention that a job computer is installed on the side of the front hopper. The machine is equipped with ISOBUS, which means that you can control the distributor head and the metering units directly using the ISOBUS system. If the machine is connected to the tractor's control terminal, then this is no problem. I'd also like to point out that we've now installed a tyre packer as an option. The tyre packer can be retrofitted, and if you decide to do so later on, it's easy to install and remove. Four wide tyres for good weight alleviation from the front axle of the tractor. At the front hopper, we have two different hopper sizes. Here we have the small hopper with a capacity of 1,700 litres. As an option, there's the larger hopper with a capacity of 2,300 litres and identical dimensions. OK, and calibration? Everything accessible easily and conveniently from the front. Simply push in the calibration bag. The metering units are electrically driven, have a wide speed range, and as mentioned, are controlled by ISOBUS. I do a lot of mulch drilling. Can I use this machine for that? Here you have a very small row spacing. We have a row spacing of 12 and a half centimeters, and that should definitely not be a problem for mulch drilling, as we have a very large coulter offset of 30 centimeters, and dual disc, double disc coulters as standard perfect for mulch drilling conditions. Furthermore, we have a coulter pressure of up to 50 kilograms, which is why we have the wide depth control roller at the rear for perfect seed placement. The discs also have integrated scrapers, of course, and the depth guide rollers at the rear. Does that mean I have to control the depth for each row individually? No. Here we also have a central setting system for each side, as you can see on your right. It's very easy to adjust using the ratchet wrench supplied. Released by a push rod, the depth can be easily adjusted from the side. You'll notice this special linkage. We have a parallelogram here. This parallelogram also retains the depth setting, so there's no change in the angles. The quarter pressure can also be easily adjusted for each side using the ratchet wrench. And then at the rear, we have our levelling tines as an option. I do a lot of contract work for other farmers. What about tramline? Do I have to change hoses around? No, as a Pertinger customer, you have several options. As standard, the distributor head is set for a specific tramline where the motors are located at the outlets. But you also have the option, as you can see here, to integrate a motor into every outlet. We call this a full IDS distributor head. This lets you use different tramline widths and different wheel widths and is ideal for contract work. For example, 21 meter tramline and 5 meter machine width is no longer a problem. Another thing about the distributor head, you can see that the distributor head is located a bit further forward but the distributor head is still connected to the coulter rail. So why is the distributor head further forward? So that the hoses are all the same length, which is very important for ensuring uniform distribution across the whole working width. What happens if I want to use the power harrow on its own? How quickly can I remove the machine? 
We've put a lot of thought into this. There are four connection points between the power harrow and the coulter rail. The distributor head is only attached to the power harrow using the top link, which needs to be released along with the hose to the seed hopper. The coulter rail is equipped with a total of four support legs and the machine can be removed within minutes by releasing four bolts with catch hooks. One person can easily do this on their own. Right, that's cool. That's a pretty long seed hose to the back. How do I remove that when I'm on my own? Dismantling is easily done in a few minutes by two people, for a good reason. Here you can see the tractor bracket, the cable tray and the hose line. Everything supplied by Pertinger. If you look at the cable tray, it's mounted here with a shaped tube and two bolts. Simply undo the bolts and remove the cable tray. And that's it. You can also adjust the inclination forwards, backwards and sideways, as well as the height of the cable tray. So you can adapt this system to fit any tractor. Nice one. Thanks very much. My pleasure. Goodbye. More success with Pertinger.